For the next two minutes, turn and share with someone next to you. What musical artist do you think writes powerful lyrics? Why do those lyrics connect with you? Now, let your partner share. Are you ready? Shh, quiet please, we're about to start. Now let's take a look back at our story so far. The Bible is a sacred story, echoed to us from the ancients. An epic, revealing the great creator's pursuit of wholeness for all of creation. May we find ourselves in this amazing story. During the time of the judges, tragedy struck Naomi, an Israelite woman. Her husband and both of her grown sons had died. But her daughter-in-law, Ruth, clung to Naomi and vowed to take care of her. Because they were poor, Ruth gathered leftover grain for food. The field owner, Boaz, was a wealthy relative of Naomi. He thanked Ruth for caring for Naomi and gave her grain and water. When Naomi heard about this, she sent Ruth to meet with Boaz. That night, Ruth snuck into where Boaz was sleeping and laid down by him. Later, Boaz awoke, startled. Ruth told him, cover me with your blanket, for you are my family redeemer. This was symbolic. Ruth was asking him to marry her. Boaz was surprised and excited. He thought she would seek out a younger man. Soon, Boaz and Ruth were married and started a family. Years later, one of their descendants would become a king of Israel. The Israelites ignored the warnings that human kings are controlling and greedy, and insisted that they have a king like other nations had. So God chose Saul to be their king, a tall and handsome warrior who defeated Israel's enemies on every side. But Saul treated his people harshly and ignored God's ways. So God secretly chose David, a young shepherd boy, to be the next king. But his time to be king wouldn't come until years later. 
Meanwhile, King Saul was overcome with anger and madness. Musicians tried to soothe his mind. One of them was David. Saul grew to love David and made him a trusted servant. Saul's son became David's best friend. Then David married Saul's daughter. Before long, David was made commander of Israel's armies and the people sang songs about his greatness. This made Saul angry and jealous. So the next time David played music for him, Saul hurled a spear at him. David dodged the spear and ran away. In our next story, Saul grows more jealous and crazy as David's reign as king draws closer. Let's continue this story right now. Thank you.